Mr. Speaker, I rise today because I know climate change is real and its impacts are already here. In New Jersey, we know those impacts all too well. Superstorm Sandy sent an unprecedented storm surge up the Hudson and up the Hackensack Rivers, destroyed homes, businesses, police departments, the critical infrastructure that our neighbors still digging out this day. Because these once-in-a-generation storms have a human toll. In 2017, the destruction and failed response to the Hurricane Maria by the Trump administration led to over 3,000 Americans dying. 3,000. The time for waiting is over. We need to act right now. Climate scientists are in universal agreement. Our planets are warming, and they'll continue to inflict catastrophic devastation. Military and intelligence experts have warned it is a national security threat. You are no longer going to educate Americans to hide their head in the sand. We need to work together. One nation, as an international community, the goals some have set above have been called overly ambitious. You bet they're ambitious. These are big problems, and Americans tackle big problems with big solutions. Supporting H.R. 9 would do just that. It shows the world the United States is committed to the Paris Agreement, that we are serious about setting targets for carbon emissions reductions. This agreement is the bare minimum we can do to prevent against the impacts of climate change. We need to be serious about getting this right, that we're serious about preserving the world for our people, for our children, like my grandchildren and their grandchildren. Madam Speaker, because that's who this is about. I thank you.